how to not build the deck. As I stand here in front of our 95% finished deck, there was so much footage that I took of things we didn't like and what led to a premature deterioration of our old deck. And that footage wasn't used in the previous videos and you won't see it in any of the future ones. So I didn't want to throw it away. So lucky you guys get a bonus video of all the things that you don't want to do and things you might want to look out for if you're having a contractor build a deck. You want to say, don't do this stuff because it will lead to your deck failing sooner than it should. And then you can watch all of the videos on how we're building this composite deck and you'll know what you need to do. This deck was here when we purchased this house about four years ago and there are so many things about this deck that I don't like and I, I'm surprised that people can get away with building things the way that there are certain things on this deck the way they're done. So we're going to change them and I'm going to run through real quick here and show you some of those that I don't like at all that have led to this deck deteriorating faster than it probably could have and then what we're going to do to change it you'll see in the forthcoming videos about all this deck build. We're gonna show you everything. Putting the post in, beams, the armadillo synthetic decking going on top. We're gonna to do a custom railing. We're gonna do everything DIY style. This is cosmetic, but I don't like it at all. You can't see through this whole starburst thing. It looks kind of cool, but it blocks your complete vision. And same thing with just these balusters, period. It blocks quite a bit of your, your view out into the yard, which is something you do want to look at. These guys sag. There's no support underneath to hold them, so we want to take care of that as well. And this one I actually noticed when we purchased the house, and I cannot stand this. I don't, I don't care if this is code or not, but I would never cut half of my strength away from my railing especially when you have kids because you get rubbish like this look how much this thing moves another thing they bolted the railing to the rim joist which is only nailed on the ends there are no strong ties there's no hurricane ties there's no nothing on this deck and you can see how badly it's pulling away right here I don't understand how this is ever a good idea to add areas for water ingress to pull up there and rot this post away prematurely. You can see that's happened on the top here. You can hear the wood is very dry rotted out. Galvanized nails toe nailed in for the railing. You can see this whole thing is just about to fall apart. Another starburst that isn't even together right there. The whole thing is sagging a little bit on this side because the sump pump used to just charge right here. It now goes out into the ditch at the woods. There's all the new decking, by the way. You can see we pulled off a piece of fascia board here, which was held on with galvanized nails again. And how is that a good idea to leave an area that you can't get any sealer in here on a pressure treated deck? So you can see here how all of this, look at that, completely rotting away because water pulled up right here and didn't have any place to go. So we're gonna change that. I think Delta. Multiple areas of the deck are just falling apart, as you can see right here. It is all nailed together, which as you guys know, I am screw all day type of guy because nails will, will always work their way out, especially in a deck area like this. Now this whole thing, eh, I don't quite get it. Why didn't you run this over here to give yourself a lot more room? We're gonna change this around completely. This abomination. Been dragging on the been dragging on the decking for years. Another starburst thing. Don't like it. Look at this railing. Ready? Terrible. That and there's nothing you can do about it. The bolts are tight. It's because the rim joists are nailed to the joists which are running this way. And there's no hurricane ties. We have some premature rotting on the deck boards themselves because of the way the pergola was attached, which is in itself an embarrassment. We're gonna fix that as well. Right here, we are looking underneath the pergola post, which is right there, and it's actually sitting on top of the beam because the nincompoops that built this thing, or added the pergola anyway, just bolted a board underneath to the bottom of the deck board and stuck the pergola post sitting on top of that. Obviously, that pulled out. And you can see the water damage around there from having water puddled up on this board. Terrible idea. Here's another area where you can really see how having the fascia up against the decking where you can't get any sealer in there is a terrible idea. This, another terrible idea. Let's just put an area where pressure treatment can puddle up water. That's a great idea. Really? I mean, come on, galvanize. Let's not put any places for water to puddle up on our pressure treated. 
this is the gate on the other side. This staircase is going to move, but I mean really just some galvanized pin nails into the baluster. Come on. Our swing's looking great. Well, I hope that helps some of you guys out, especially if you're having a contractor do some work for you. You want to keep a sharp eye and make sure they're not doing things that will lead to an early failure on your deck. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button as it helps us out and gets this video in front of more eyes to help all of you out. I'm DIY Tyler and you guys have a good one.